Hello again everybody. Today we're going to be putting together my Raspberry Pi 2 Model B with my protective plastic case. So I've already actually taken both things out of the box. Those are just for show. Let's get those out of the way. And we have the case here and the Raspberry Pi Model 2B here. So let's take this out of the bag. There we go. Much easier now with this overhead view. <laughs> um, so the biggest thing we're going to have to do actually is I'm going to have to take all the little the little brown bits off of here but I wanted to just show off what came with the case all together. This one's going to be a lot easier. <laughs> There's literally four screws and four of these little I don't know what these would be nuts. I don't know but super easy peasy on that end. There's no spacers or anything. All of the spacing is done um, just with these little plastic bits. And then we also do actually have these three heat sinks which I presume I'm going to be putting on these chips. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do that just yet or what. I guess that's what they're for. So we've got two larger ones. I guess you can't really see them there here. Two of these larger ones and one of these smaller ones and that matches with the one large one, one small one, and then one large one on the back. So I'm guessing that's what that's for. <laughs> that's what it seems to be for. So other than that though, like I say, four, four screws, four things, three heat sinks, relatively easy peasy. Um, there's actually five layers? Yeah. Five layers of plastic here. So there's a frosted one and then this one is black with actually this stuff on both sides which is why I'm probably going to pause to do that. And then there's a clear one with I think a blue protective layer from when it was being cut. Another black one and then another frosted one. So it should look fantastic when it's all done but I'm going to just pause for a moment and peel off all the protective layers. Okay, so now all of this terrible stuff has been removed. That can all go in the garbage. Eh. All these little fluffy bits too. Oh my gosh. All right, well, that's as good as we're going to get for now. But um, I was actually wrong. These frosted bits are not frosted at all. They are completely clear, which is even better. Um, I think I still actually have to do some removal of stuff from these little bits, but I'll get that later. Alright, so I'm not entirely certain that I got the last two on the uh, right way. I know I have these three in the right way, but let's just start figuring these things out. So clearly this is this way. This is this way. And I think like those two go together like that for sure. This one. Hmm, maybe it's like that, probably. So I think these two go on the top like that, and then these two might... No? Oh, there's probably... Wait. <laughs> this is all very confusing. Okay, what, is, what does this one do? Honestly. No? No, it's either like that or like that. That makes sense. But it also doesn't. Does that make sense? No. Okay, this doesn't go like that, obviously. Doesn't go like that. So it's probably on this side. But I don't really know. Oh, there we go. It goes like this. Okay, we got this. So this one goes here, and this one goes there, like so, and then I don't entirely know which side this part should go on, because it's probably going to be like standing on that, so maybe the screws should be on top, but wait, that Oh no. 
<laughs> now everything's terrible. I touched things and I put them where they shouldn't go. Okay, I think, I think we're good. I think I just need to flip that around. So if I do this, like so. All right, that looks good. And then the black piece here. Fantastic. And then that piece like so. So there we go. That's covering pretty much everything except for it's leaving air for here, air for here. You can access these two. You can access everything. Looks good. Although I still am not entirely sure which is the best side to have the screws on. Let's put one in and see what it looks like. I think Let's see here. Don't want to do it too tight because I need to do all of them first. Let's get all of them in place. This is pretty nice though. I'm liking this a lot. It's rather cool. All right, let's go kind of sideways so that none of the screws fall out. There we go. There we go. Oh, of course. The last one, I still managed to make it fall out, even though I knew, I knew it was gonna happen. All right, so even with this case on, this stuff kind of sticks out a little bit, um, but I'm gonna kind of just tighten these a tiny bit more so that they're all kind of evenly tightened. the even amount of tension on all of them. All right, so I think that's everything. This kind of does obscure most of the board on the top. So now I'm, but I'm sure I have it right because this doesn't fit on the top. So it has to be this way. It's kind of a bummer actually that that obscures a lot of the board. Cause I think that's one of the coolest parts of having like a clear case like this, but there you go, you have access to all the things you need to have access to on the side as well. Got the ports, got this as well for the SD card, or the memory card. Got the ports on this side. And then on the bottom, you can see all that loveliness. So I still do have to put on these heat sinks and um, I do have to take this off. So I might just do that real quick and then I'll show you the finished product. All right, so for from what I can tell, uh, this actually is an extra heat sink because on this side um, with the space allowed here, uh, this doesn't actually fit inside. And since the case and the heat sinks all came together, I'm assuming that they are meant to all fit together. So I, I did actually put this on the opposite way this time. So the screws are here and these feet are here because that way, um, with this, it can sit flat that way, or it can sit flat this way, either way. And then plus I can still like plug things in and stuff and whatnot. So that is the Raspberry Pi, was it 2B or B2? I always forget. 2 Model B, Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. And it's new, beautiful case. And here is for <laughs> scale, uh, this is my Raspberry Pi Zero. So the Raspberry Pi Zero is pretty much the same size as the width of this one. And then also, yeah, it's just a tiny bit smaller. It's the little brother. So here we go. The beginning of my Raspberry Pi collection. Anyways, I hope you have all enjoyed this Raspberry Pi case installation and uh, hopefully I'll actually start doing something with these soon. 
and I can show you guys all about that as well. Anyways, I'll see you on the next video.